Gem Wizard's Tactics is a turn-based single-player tactics game that's designed to be surprising, deep, and endlessly challenging. The game is currently in an early alpha stage. A lot of the content isn't done yet, but most of the gameplay mechanisms are already implemented. I've always loved tactics games, but over the years certain things about them have come to bother me. I love Advance Wars, but I feel like it can be a little bit too puzzle-like in how you play against the computer. I love XCOM, but I feel like the two-hit dice roll combat can be extremely swingy sometimes, and the game balance tends to get somewhat wonky later on in the campaigns. These are just a few examples. There's a lot to say about Gem Wizard's tactics, but one thing I've always dreamed about is a turn-based tactics game that really focuses on emergent complexity. I love asymmetrical forces in games. Uh, Gem Wizard's tactics will have seven wildly different factions that each have dramatically different strengths and weaknesses. The business demons, who are already implemented, can create roads, exploit the resources of the terrain, and generally end up burning everything in sight. The potatoes grow long roots and other crops around the level which provide different bonuses. The bug people can burrow under the ground. The undead party can raise the dead and play rock and roll music. And the kindred society focuses on healing and avoiding combat and so on. But beyond all that, I also love when there's this intermingling between factions. In Gem Wizard's tactics, you'll start out with one faction, but you'll have the ability to gain units of other factions into your squad as you go. You'll also start out facing one faction, but over time, two or three other factions will join the AI and fight against you at the same time. Back to Emergent Complexity, the idea here is that these unit powers complement each other and have surprising effects. For example, the business demon wizard can create oil by fracking these mountains. That oil can be picked up to gain gem power, which powers your abilities. But the Gargoyle, another business demon unit, is made out of oil, and he'll sort of slide across it if he's bumped. So you can send your Gargoyle over a large patch of oil into a flame causing a huge explosion. The Gargoyle also trails oil, which means you can set up these huge crazy traps where you send a Gargoyle deep behind enemy lines. The Potatoes, for example, also have a slingshot unit that could catapult that gargoyle behind enemy lines. And this is just one example of cross-faction emergent complexity. The combinations would be limitless. Every match would be full of surprises and yet always stay at a balanced difficulty for all players due to our single-player ELO system. I did this also with Dino Farm Games on our game Oro. The single-player ELO system simulates a multiplayer matchmaking sort of system where you rank up and down between matches and face more difficult opponents as you get better at the game. There's so much more that I want to say about Gem Wizard's Tactics, and I'm going to have more updates on this channel going forward, so stay tuned. Gem Wizard's Tactics should be coming to Steam in early access in the fall of 2020. If you want to support the development of this game, you can do so by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash I'll see you next time.